ladies and gentlemen. This amateur bantamweight fight is set for three, green and brown. First, fighting out of the B2 Mitchell Blue Corner. His record stands, three wins, three losses. His height, five feet, eight inches, and he weighed in at 135 pounds. He trains with impact MMA and he fights out of Lincoln, Illinois. His name is Cameron And his opponent, across the cage, fighting out of the one more gym red corner. He steps to the cage at five feet, seven inches. His weight, 135 pounds. He trains with impact MMA and he fights out of Peoria, Illinois. And tonight, in the B2 fighting series cage, he makes his amateur debut.
Stay busy, Blocko. Hands on your chin. Lead yeah. hand up, Blocko. Very nice. Yeah. Stand him up. Stand him up. Get that leg behind his, Jason. Stand him up. There you go. Back up. Oh. Stand him up. Stand him up. Good slip. Good slip. Good slip. Good slip. Lead hand. Lead hand. Hands high. and Alex Reyes, who just fought each other tonight in the cage. They compete um, at this, actually, they train at the same gym. It was very nice of you to take this fight on short notice. Congratulations on this win. How how do you feel fighting your teammate? Um, it's actually really difficult, you know, like the build up to it all. It's kind of like a really, uh, really slow, you know, you don't want to go out there and hurt the guy you train with, the guys you train with. But, uh, you know, we both, we both kind of, both of our opponents backed out, you know, scared. We come out of a really good gym, we're real tough. Uh, so it was it was difficult getting the, into the mindset, but you know you got to do what you got to do to make sure you're still getting cage time. Absolutely, and it's hard enough to get cage time as it is. Alex, how do you feel having your debut against your teammate? Man, it's a it's a crazy feeling for sure. He's a tough guy, one of the toughest fighters I know for sure, and hits harder than ever. Yeah, good guy. And I've got to ask you. So when you're when you're listening to your corner, I mean both both corners are your your coaches how does how does that play when you're in the cage uh it's it's weird because you know you're hearing him talk to the other guy as well and uh you're uh, used to him be talking to you so it's throws you off a little bit but uh you know it's kind of just like a like a practice situation it feels like and um you know it was it's easy to kind of work through it just a little different hearing it and how do you feel with that same question? How do you feel having your coaches in both corners? Yeah, it's, it's weird, but just got to keep the ears out for the right things, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, it's all love at the end of the day. 
Now this was your debut fight. How do you feel stepping in the cage for an actual competition? Crazy. It's yeah. it's overwhelming. It is. Yeah. Anxiety going through me, all that stuff. But it, it feels like I accomplished something big today, even with a loss. Loss for my boy. It don't matter. Well, you know, in the in in sports, there's never a loss. There's never really a true failure. You really learn from from your failures. You know, or not winning a fight, and that's great. And thank you guys so much for being here with the V2 Fighting Series. How was your experience with V2 Fighting Series? It was beautiful. This is this is one of the best times of my life ever. Like ever. So you'll be back. Oh yeah. I'll be back for sure. Perfect. And what about you? Well, we've seen you here before. Oh, yeah. um, I love B2. B2, they, uh, you know, you guys are all good people. You guys always make us feel real welcome when we come here. Uh, make every fighter feel real welcome. And I, lo I love the, the vibe, and I definitely love coming to Iowa. Iowa, every time I'm here, it's always always real sweet people and uh, great food, great, uh, great environment, great it's vibe. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're super fancy here in Iowa. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. And what an amazing performance. That flying triangle was slick. So uh, we appre you're going to love seeing that highlight reel. <laughs> I hope so. And I tried. Uh, I knew he was getting a little tired, so I thought I'd you know, try to sh throw something we throw in practice a lot. So, uh, yeah, it was a good, good time. All right. Well, let's throw out a little bit of shade here because... We need to find you some opponents that will stick to the game plan. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Is, I, what, I mean, come on, guys. Let's stick to the game plan. Let's okay. not make these guys face each other again. What do you have to say about that? I want anybody from the top ten that's anybody sitting around. from the top that's, ten. That's at 145 and 135. Anybody from go. the top ten, I'm coming for you guys. You know, yes. I know you guys aren't going to back out of a fight. And uh, I'm ready to give you guys one, so be ready. Yes. And what about you, Alex? I'm here to make an impact. First time here. I'm going to come back many more times. It's just that. I'm ready. You guys heard it. These guys are ready. Come on. Let's step in the cage with them.